Thank, thanks for joining us tonight. Families and state leaders tonight want to know what's going on at the Hastings Veterans Home. A hearing at the state capitol tonight focused on getting some answers after two administrators at the Veterans Home were fired this weekend amid reports of a toxic work environment. The facility is one of five veterans home run by the state. Devon Roming was at tonight's hearing and is live with an update. Devon. Well, Julie and Randy, state leaders spent nearly two and a half hours hearing from former employees at the Hastings Veterans Home while also grilling the state Veterans Com of Affairs Commissioner, all in an effort to ensure that changes are made. Good evening, uh, members. You can call it a new beginning. At the state capitol Tuesday night, Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs Commissioner Larry Herkey outlined a 10-point plan to address what he called major concerns of those living at the Hastings Veterans Home. I do believe I need the 10-point plan, though, to bring us back in and make sure that everyone understands what the standards are. In the plan, Commissioner Herkey highlights everything from new ways to report issues to better anti-bullying and sexual harassment training. And we have to hire the right people that will enforce the standards, that will make sure that the attitude within the home is collaborative, it's positive, and that people feel like they're heard. This all coming just days after the firing of Deputy Commissioner Doug Hughes and Hastings Veterans Home Administrator Mike Anderson. It follows years of reports alleging a hostile work environment, which allegedly jeopardized the care provided to veterans at the Hastings facility. Your 10 point plan should have been your daily plan anyways. And we got here because of a, of, of a broad systems of failures, which you were the head of. And so I think we need, we're going to need more meat on the bone about what's materially going to change. In the 10-point the plan, uh, Senator Coran, I can agree with you. Those things should have been, there shouldn't have been problems as it related to respect in the workplace. Changes that Commissioner Herkey insists are coming. We are moving forward with new leadership at the Hastings Veterans Home, and we are looking forward to continuing to make positive changes in service to our veterans. Now, Commissioner Herkey says he has to fill those two vacant leadership roles within the next 120 days. In the meantime, an, an interim administrator is leading the facility. Randy. All right, Devon, thank you. The shakeup at the Hastings home also grabbing the attention of Governor Walls, who said today he supports what's best for the veterans. I think um, an environment where the workforce is respected, making sure that they're at the top quality to be able to deliver. And I think that the leadership over at the department made the decision that it was time to look for new leadership. And so I certainly support them in their move to, to move to that accountability piece. Governor Wall says he will keep a close eye on the situation in Hastings, but is positive the VA will pick the right people for the job.